Hey guys, and welcome back to EQ Planes, and today I'd like to discuss some of my criticisms around uh, the JC Wing 757, 737, and A320 family molds. Now, this is a more updated, more in-depth video. I did have a previous one, but I just wanted to add a little more detail to the video, so here we go. And I do have plenty of good JC Wings uh, models, including their old 757. It just seems to be these uh, new batches of models that seem to be having issues. Now, without further ado, let's start the video. Um, the first issue you'll notice is on the nose with the 757. Uh, you have that very, um, very iconic 757 mold, recognizable to any Av geek. Um, very bulbous to the point, with a tall but rounded forehead. Now, where JC Wings got this wrong are the two curves leading from the windscreen to, um, for one, the bottom of the fuel silage. Um, they're not curved enough, uh, leading to the point of the nose. And um, that leaves the nose looking a little too sharp, um, which, for such a distinctive nose, is quite a big error. Um, I could see why it'd be easy to mess this one up, but if you do, it's not going to look good. And the... Um, Windscreen is just a little bit uh, too small. Uh, the cockpit window area, which also adds to the um, somewhat morphed look of the um, nose region. Next is the engines. If you look at the 757 engines in real life, if you start from the top of the engine, um, it moves down to a um, it moves down a little bit and diagonally. So the top of the engine's a little bit further out than the bottom, but on the JC Wings model. This is straight, and if also you look at the bottom of the engine, you lead to flat, to a little bit curved up uh, to the back of the engine, but on the JC Wings, the engine's angled up a bit, so it's um, angling down and then angling um, back up in somewhat of a V shape. Now let's move to their 737 mold. Now we have a 737 WestJet 700 over the top, which is a picture I took a year ago. Sorry, I didn't have any 800s in high resolution on hand. And below is their new 1-200 to Ryanair Boeing House Colors 737. Now, if you look at the issues on this one, uh, there are two um, issues. It's in the APU region. You can see on the normal one, you have a somewhat rounded APU region. It goes in about a little out. But if you look at this uh, Ryanair 737-800, um, it's almost a V-shape uh, right where the um, tail, um, tail cone of the plane is, which isn't a super huge issue and not as big as some of the other ones that you will see and I've shown you today, but it is an issue nonetheless. And the other issue you have is the top of the winglets do look a uh, bit flat in my opinion, however not a big issue, and the tail looks a little skinny. But now let's move to their A320 family mold. Once again, this is a 1-200 mold. For some reason, their 1-400 molds don't seem to be as affected by this issue. I do have an SAS uh, A321 in 1 to 400, which is perfectly fine, but uh, this one in 1 to 200 scale obviously has some issues. Um, now, if you look at the nose, once again, it is quite obvious to anybody who knows anything about aviation that that does not look correct. It is far too pointy. Um, I know Dragon Wings used to have issues with their A320 um, molds, A320 molds as well and for some reason it's kind of a hard windscreen to get as um uh as well i've seen lots of model companies not do it perfectly but this is just by looking at it you can tell that's not correct um but yeah otherwise um that model is um is pretty good now i know i i believe gemini jets uses this mold and i've been told that gemini jet 757 mold is the same as uh is the same as that JC Wings one, which I've never, I don't have um, the 1 to 200 Gemini Jets A320 family aircraft or a um, Gemini Jet 757, so I wouldn't know. But yeah, just watch out for the different JC Wings releases you may be buying. Make sure they don't have any of these issues. And with, and now we're done. I'd like to thank you guys for watching and hope to see you guys back next time.